the Mark Forged Metal X is here. I want to take you on a quick tour of the entire system to show you what is involved in the process of printing metal and show you the kinds of parts we've been making so far. We have one of the systems running here in our Dallas, Texas office. The process starts with a 3D printer that deposits material one layer at a time, just like their nylon or onyx printers. Now, if you aren't familiar with Mark Forged printers, they make tough end-use parts that you can use on the shop floor, and for additional strength, they have a second nozzle that can embed a continuous carbon fiber or Kevlar reinforcement layer that makes plastic parts that are as strong as aluminum. In the metal printers, one nozzle deposits the metal matrix, while the other nozzle prints a ceramic material so you can cleanly separate the final part from any supports, with no metal cutting required. We'll see more about how that works when they come out of the oven. This printer has some heating elements to keep the build plate and the environment warm, but it's safe to touch. This machine would not be out of place in an office environment or in a workshop. The parts that come off the printed bed are green, meaning they're held together by the binder, so they aren't durable yet, but they are solid and stable. The next step involves a wash cycle, which uses an industrial degreaser to remove some of the binding agent. Each part is carefully weighed before and after the wash, and by measuring the weight loss, you can make sure the process has been completed successfully for the next step. The wash also has a built-in drying compartment, a recapture and ventilation system, so the entire thing is fully contained and there's no fumes. I've been spending a lot of time in this shop and you would have no idea from any kind of a smell or any chips that metal parts are being fabricated in here. The dry parts are then loaded onto the center oven platform. Here we have a center one oven, which is great for small to medium sized parts. You can also get a center two for larger parts and for supporting multiple printers in a production environment. Now this build platform may not seem huge, but we've had great success with everything we've been able to print so far. And from there, you'll just load everything into the oven, close it up, turn on the inert gas, and start the cycle. The centering process removes all remaining binder from the metal matrix, causing it to shrink about 20%. Now personally, I was a little concerned about the center shrinkage being an issue dimensionally, but the results really speak for themselves. The center process binds the metal into a durable, solid metal part. Well, actually, they're only solid if you want them to be, because you can print metal with a sparse fill to create part with a higher strength to weight ratio than would be possible with any conventional manufacturing method. These parts are incredible. They have the heft of aluminum, but the strength of stainless steel. Removing the finished part from the supports is simple. The ceramic material turns to a powder in the oven, so a simple tap or even a drop on the floor will separate your finished part from the support and it's ready to be used right away. As a last optional step, we usually tumble or deburr these parts the same way you might with a machined or a cast part, assuming the surface finish is important. Mark Forge printers use a cloud-based software called Iger to load and set up your parts. This is where it automatically analyzes the geometry to account for accurate shrinkage so the final part matches your design. It also predicts the cycle time, the cost, tracks the progress of each part, and the status of each machine from a browser. So you can answer that constant, are we there yet, question, with a simple dashboard. Each piece of equipment also has intelligent touchscreen interfaces that walk you through how to perform each step so you don't miss anything. And they also receive updates and upgrades from the cloud. So you'll always be running the best possible settings as they continue to innovate and tweak this technology. Start to finish, you can expect to build a brand new design in metal in as quick as three days. Not bad when you consider we're building custom metal parts in virtually any shape without the limitations or tooling costs of most traditional manufacturing methods. You only need to buy this one machine and keep in stock one shape of raw material. Now, like I said, we're running stainless steel here today, but several additional materials are available now or coming very soon, including tool steel, titanium, inconel, and copper. With cloud-based updates, your machine will know exactly how to build any new materials they release in the future. The Metal X is here. You can make functional and use parts right now on a machine that costs a fraction of the price of any previous metal printer. If you want to learn more, visit our website at mlc-cad.com and take a look at the events page to see when our next Metal X event will be so you can come and see it for yourself.